Book your flight, hotel, and rental car with Cheapo Air today. The link is in the description box below. I'm not eating maggots. <laughs> you hear me? I'm not eating maggots. It had to go. Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Still City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey guys, how you doing today? Happy Thursday to you. I want to thank all my subscribers, old and new. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. I love you. And to those of you who have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Today, guys, I got another one of those 30 minute meals, 30 minute one pot meals. <laughs> you know, I'm the queen of that. I don't want to be in the kitchen any longer than I have to. But I actually filmed this one. There's a cooking video on my website. I've got some purple cabbage, some sweet potatoes in there, and some posca kielbasa. And I got a cucumber today. So let's get started. I have a story for you too, of course. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. Mm. I promise I do have a story. I just had to get a couple bites. This is so good. So, let me get started. This is a continuation of the scooter guy. The medical scooter guy, okay? My next door neighbor that's attached to me in, in building partner in apartment two. Okay. Well, you know, I told him that since he was using my electric, I know you guys remember this. Since he was using my electric in a way that I asked him not to. Which was, do not leave your scooter plugged in overnight on my electric. I decided I was going to charge. Fair enough. Told him $30 for the year. That's more than fair. Canada Dry. Sparkling water. More than fair. So he agreed. I told him that he had to pay me by yesterday, which was Wednesday. Yesterday. I had my doubts whether that was going to happen or not. But when I went to my mailbox yesterday, there was an envelope with a check in it. Okay. I thought he was just going to pay me cash, but he, he, he gave me a check. Now, here's the funny part. There was a letter with the check that said, I agree to the 
for the scooter. Um, <clears throat> please give me a receipt because I need it for my taxes. You can go down. This is exactly. This is exactly what the letter said. Okay. You can go down to the dollar store and get a receipt book. I guess I was supposed to buy it out of the money that he paid me, but I have receipt books. I keep those on hand because you never know. I always have a receipt book, so that was not a problem. I just thought it was kind of funny that he's telling me step by step what to do. Go down and get the receipt book at the dollar store. No? Okay. Anyway. The letter continues. If this check is returned NSF, <laughs> if this check is returned NSF, contact my job at the Pittsburgh Pirates. Well, first of all, he doesn't work there anymore. He hasn't worked in over a year at the Pittsburgh Pirates or anywhere. So I'm thinking, if the check bounces, I'm supposed to contact the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hmm. So, I'm, I'm now worried because did he give me a bad check? That's the first thing I'm thinking. Did the dude give me a bad check? I don't want to put it in my bank because if I do and it bounces, then they're going to charge me. You know, they're going to charge me $35 more than what the check is. No, dude, no. Mm -mm. So... Check the name, you know, his bank is on his check. So, this morning, I went to his bank to see if I could cash the check there. Because that way, it's on him if it bounces. I don't care. It's on him. I just want my money. So, I go in, tell the lady. My neighbor is a customer here, and <clears throat> he paid me by check. I just tell her a story. He paid me by check, stating that if this bounces, what I'm supposed to do. So the lady says, do you have an account here? I said, no, I don't. She says, we can cash it. It just costs $7. I'm like, no. I just need you to tell me if the check's going to clear. So she types it in computer and she was like, oh, you're good. It'll, it'll clear. You can deposit it into your bank. <sighs> Thank goodness. So I immediately scan the check and do the deposit by phone thing, you know. Get it in there and cashed while dude got money, you know. But if you remember, I told you. His dad passed away and left him money. Why would there be any doubt as to whether the check's going to clear or not? Why? And when I'm saying, you know, his dad left him money, I mean he left him money. Money. Like long money. Okay? 
because the old man was paying my neighbor's rent. He was he had been paying it ever since the guy moved in. So he had money. Alright. <laughs> if you can afford where you live and to pay for your grown son, you got money. So you know, I got the check cash and everything, so I'm all good. He's paid up for the year, and we're good. Just so funny, you know? Very funny. Mm. Other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that the Halloween contest is coming up and I do have the details posted on my blog. So if you want to see what you have to do To be a part of this hundred dollar prize giveaway, head on over to SteelCityOurLimits.com. Check the blog, and it will tell you step by step what you have to do. It's real easy. You don't have to do a lot to win. I also made a bunch of other posts today. I won't say a bunch, but I posted a cooking video and I also posted a, a vlog. Kind of like a part two on intermittent fasting. Because it's working. It works. And um, I didn't know the science behind it, but I have been researching and studying lately to find out. And um, as I learn things, I'm going to vlog about it or blog about it so that you can know too. I look at it this way. I'm doing all the research and studying for you guys, so you don't have to. All you have to do is go watch my vlog, and you get your information. Mm. It's finally cool enough here to wear my sweatshirts. I love that. I love that. Weather's perfect. It's probably about 58 degrees. A little windy. A little drizzly every now and then. My fall weather. So this is actually my last meal of the day. By the time you see it, you know, by the time I can get it edited and uploaded and everything, it's probably going to be like 7 or 8 o'clock at night. But this meal is actually taking place at 2.30 p.m. The time right now. Actually, it's 3 p.m. I think I started closer to 2.30, but, you know, I'm running my mouth. 
3 p.m. now. And based on my fasting window, I won't be able to eat until about 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's my fasting window. Those aren't the times that you have to set up. But if you're interested in doing this, you're going to set it up according to your schedule. This is very spicy. Put crushed red pepper in it. It's good. The last time I made red cabbage, I accidentally left the lid off of it while I was filming my video and a fly got in the house. I know you guys remember that. I couldn't be certain that that fly didn't land on my cabbage because that's the only reason he came in because flies love cabbage. I could not be certain and I had a whole pan And I threw it away. You better believe it. It wasn't like something I could rinse off, so... I had to throw away an entire pan of cabbage because of one fly that got in. I'm not eating maggots. <laughs> you hear me? I'm not eating maggots. It had to go. This is so good with sweet potatoes. I don't know if you ever tried that or not. Usually people put white potatoes in their cabbage. I'm trying it with sweet potatoes and it's very good. This is so good, this might be turning into an ASMR. <laughs> At the very end, right? <clears throat> Getting pretty full, guys.
Peace out, my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon.